Lutz, Florida might actually be the perfect suburb for some of you looking to move to Tampa, Florida. Top rated school zones, affluent golf course communities and lakefront living are just a few of the reasons why people decide to live here. It's got just enough going on for your family to decide to set roots, start a new life, but yet it's comfortable enough if you decide for a slower pace of life. Maybe you wanna retire, it's got it here. In this video, we're gonna do a full vlog tour of the Lutz, Florida area. We're getting started right now. Welcome if you are new here and new to me because I make videos all about living in Tampa, Florida and the surrounding areas just like Lutz. So if you like what you see, please consider subscribing and ringing that little bell so you don't miss any of our new awesome content just like today's video. And if you're considering moving to the Tampa, Florida area, please see that number on the screen, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, however you wanna get a hold of us. My team and I would love to help you with your transition to the area. Located just 25 minutes north of Tampa, Florida, Lutz has some of the best communities and top rated schools. Now, Lutz does have a long history. It's not a new area. There's an old story about an old train station and things like that, but what really put Lutz on the map is in the 90s, these newer affluent upscale communities like the one we're walking in today. In today's video, I'm gonna show you around. I'm gonna show you a, a handful of different communities, a wide variety of communities, because it does offer something for everyone. And stick with me in this video because I'm also gonna touch on the things to do in the area, as well as some of the top rated schools because that is a big contributor as to why families move into the area. We are gonna start off with the community of Cheval. It's a very popular community, but it's near and dear to my heart. Why? Because I actually lived here for a handful of years and I created some special memories, not only with my kids, but with my family. And I wanna show you around. So let's get into it. Kicking things off here in Cheval. Cheval is a special community to me. My family and I lived here for two to three years and I made some special memories with my kids and my family. But let me tell you, one of the reasons we moved here was for the safety. This is considered one of the safest neighborhoods in all of Tampa, including the suburbs. Personal preference. Reason is there's three gated entrances, which is amazing because you can actually get around to Dale Mabry, you can get over to the Veterans Expressway, uh, you can also go off of Van Dyke, but one of the special things about this is it's guard gated, right? That's number one. Number two is there's security guards 24 hours that's you know going around the neighborhood. That actually got me in trouble with my wife a few times because you know, middle of the night, I get a text message at 2 a.m. saying, hey, you know, Mr. Moore, John, you forgot to put down that garage door again. And my wife hits me like, come on, you know? So, but again, that's a, a level of safety that we felt as a family with two young kids. That allowed us to now get out and, you know, walk the sidewalks in the evenings. We actually walk the golf course, but, you know, a little secret tip from the locals. But, you know, we live in an amazing community. There's an east side and there's a west side, so you know. So now there's two sides to Cheval. When you come in, the east side was actually developed first. This is where the estates and some of those real prestigious, uh, you know, massive houses are, upwards of $2 million. Um, you know, the west side has those as well. However, you know, it's a little bit more known in the east side. Uh, there's also a difference. On the east side, there is a uh, about a hundred and fifty two hundred dollar maybe a little bit more than that HOA per month but there's no CDD on the west side there's a very low HOA but there is around a two thousand dollar per year CDD so at the end of the day it's about a wash if you're considering both sides now that HOA I mean the grounds in here are pristine the landscaping the minute you come in the entrance gate is absolutely pristine it's beautiful in here some people say oh it's like miami or it's whatever but it's definitely florida and it's a perfect blend of nature and and you know a master plan community to me cheval did it right and you don't see these type of communities anywhere you know one of the uh, unique features here with that builder decided to build uh, Cheval is that 90 to 95% of the lots here are conservation lots, are lake view lots, are golf front lots. What does that mean? That means you have no rear neighbors. Most new, you know, new communities, new master plan communities, they try to jam in a bunch of homes, which makes business sense, but they just don't do them like this anymore. 
So what does that also provide? It gives you a perfect blend. You got an airplane coming over. Uh, it gives a perfect blend of nature. I don't know about you, but I love seeing deer and rabbit and eagles flying over. It's something beautiful about that. Every day you will see deer and rabbit and eagles here. Um, you know, my daughter actually named a rabbit that would come to our back window, Pizza. Uh, she said, hey mom, Pizza's here again. And then the deer, we'd see them all the time. And, uh, and there's just something beautiful about that. And again, they just disappear. They don't bother you. You just see them every day, but yet you're in a beautiful community. Going back to the east and west, some of the main differences is that on the east side, there is an athletic club. And that athletic club has um, tennis instructors. They have a fitness center with personal trainers. They also have uh, the uh, kids camp. They have a lap pool, a triathlon club. I mean, there is absolutely loaded with athletics here. On the east side, they also have a golf clubhouse where you can have lunch. They have some top-notch dinner. They have grouper sandwiches. And I will say, and a full liquor bar, by the way, which I will tell you, the east side of Cheval's clubhouse has the best chicken wings in all of Tampa. And I said that, get the Old Bay seasoning or the salt and pepper in there to die for, big old wings. But, um, you know, coming over there, it's beautiful to have a clubhouse there that you can go into, golf cart over, have lunch, have dinner, have breakfast, uh, maybe grab a beer at night. Uh, they also have wine night. So that's amazing to have in your community. Um, on the west side, uh, they have TPC, which is a completely different golf course and clubhouse. They have some of the best breakfast. My daughter and I would go there in the mornings before school, have a nice cup of coffee, have a full-blown breakfast. I'm talking bourbon uh, syrup with uh, chili bacon and I mean they have full-blown breakfast you know avocado toast from a wife you name it they got it there um, they they also think over there what they have is uh, the TPC side they have um, wine nights they have craft beer companies the breweries from Tampa they come in and do some beer tastings and things like that which is pretty cool for the community um, in the clubhouses they also have these like monthly or holiday events where you can literally uh, you know 4th of July was a massive fireworks show uh, doesn't get much better than that if you're in the community. It's a big community feel, a lot of things going on. Um, the other thing, when it comes to the golf courses, the golf courses are two of the best golf courses in all of Tampa. Cheval is a private golf course, uh, so for the residents here, etc. And then you have TPC, which is a PGA tournament worthy golf course that is a public course, so you can go and access that. Um, so again, going back to it, what's the benefit of having a, you know clubhouses in your neighborhood if you don't golf? Well, you can go there in a golf cart if you want, or your bicycle. You can grab breakfast, lunch, dinner, a beer, wine, and it's just awesome to have those two options right here in the in the community. Um, going back to it, you know, one of the safest spot. The houses here are absolutely beautiful, and you can get in on the west side. There's a few more families over there just because affordability is a little bit easier over there, and you will see a difference in the style of homes. Uh, you can get in that side for around four hundred thousand. Whereas the east side that we're standing in right now, you can probably get in around the 500, 550 mark, and then going all the way up to about 2 million on either side. Um, the other thing you'll notice is on the east side, you're gonna have a few more homes that have those barrel tile roofs. Uh, you'll also have that on the west side. However, you're gonna have a few more shingled, more modern roofs uh, because that side was actually built in the late 90s versus in the early 90s or mid 90s uh, where the east side was built. Don't let those 90s fool you. This is one of the top notch communities in the area. Back in the day, I thought you had to be a doctor, lawyer, uh, et cetera, to live in here, and that's not the case. Um, in fact, General Schwarzkopf used to live in here back in the old Gulf War. He used to live here. Uh, uh, Larry King, his uh, son, built a house in here. So some pretty cool people in here, names, not that I'm name dropping, but I guess I did. Um, either way, Cheval, love it. Let me show you around a little bit more.
two other really neat and unique things about Cheval is the school zones. People move here for the school zones, and granted, some of the other communities that we're gonna show you today, you're in the same school zone, but McKittrick, Martinez, and Steinbrenner, those are three knockout, knockout schools from what people tell me. <laughs> Greatschools.org, niche.com, I definitely you know, suggest you go on there to check the ratings out, but ratings aren't everything. Visit the schools if you're really serious about going to one of them. But they are all on the property right outside. The reason I'm mentioning the schools for this community specifically is my daughter went to Discovery, Co uh, Discovery Point, which is a uh, daycare right outside of the community, and I thought it was the neatest thing that they actually have an after-school program where a private bus from Cheval will pick up your kids from the surrounding schools and bring them home or bring them to the um, to the community center in the in the uh, in the clubhouse where the after-school kids camp is. That's a pretty unique feature for communities. I've never really seen that anywhere else. The other thing that's unique is they have an equestrian center here. If you're into horses, again, you know, Lutz is located just outside the city. So, you know, 25 minutes uh, and realistically 10 minutes and you're at a Target, you're at a uh, Publix, you're at anything you want right here. But an equestrian center, they have an equestrian center here if you own a horse or if you just want to take lessons. Uh, you can board horses there, you can ride horses there, you can take lessons there. It's an amazing added bonus feature to the community. Cheval, tennis, golf, amazing homes, safest community. It doesn't get much better. All right, so we are leaving Cheval. We are going out of the Lutz Lake Fern exit, which is located on the west side, the TPC side. Right behind me is the TPC clubhouse and golf course. And then right over here, I'm trying to give you your bearings. You're gonna go ahead and see the Veterans Expressway, which will get you all the way into the Tampa airport, as well as connect you to the bridges, take you over to the beaches. You're also gonna see McKittrick, Martinez, and Steinbrenner all on the same uh, plot of land located right behind me. Those are those A-rated schools I mentioned to you about that people move here just for those schools. And then right behind me over here, my daughter actually went there, that's Discovery Point. That's the daycare or uh, you know pre-kindergarten uh, that a lot of the kids go to. They also have a Montessori down the road. But we're gonna cross right over into a really uh, quiet and quaint uh, community called Villa Rosa. So let's go. All right, so this was not a planned stop. Yes, I said as we were leaving Cheval, but this was not a planned stop. We, we pit stopped over at Villa Rosa. Every time I leave Cheval, I see the entrance to Villa Rosa. And I'm like, man, they do it right. So coming in from the entrance, you see these beautiful flowers. They always have blooming flowers in the entrance. So it's nice coming home to that. But as you come into the community, there's over 900 homes. There's 40 lakes, there's uh, three parks, uh, 10 subdivisions or just you know little areas. Two of those areas are gated. Here's the kicker, there's very, very low HOA just for keeping up those flowers and there's absolutely no CDD. So you get the parks, you get the beautiful scenery, the lakes and all that and you know, no HOA. Guys, let me show you where I pit stopped. I stopped right here at this little bench. These lakes right here, look how beautiful that is. These lakes are all throughout the community and you could just go for a nice walk because it is sidewalks both sides, the entire community. You can leave your house, uh, go to the parks, go to the, uh, just go for a stroll and you've got this kind of scenery. It's, it's so nice and very affordable. You can get in here in the 350s on up. Uh, yes, they have these massive houses in here, but for the most part, kind of the middle range, you know, 350, 400 entry level, probably 600 is probably that sweet spot. Maybe you'll find a few higher than that in the gated sections, but those are also 3,000 plus square foot houses. So if you're ever looking for that mid-range, nice community right across from Cheval, still in the Steinbrenner district, definitely check out Villa Rosa. We made our way over to the Promenade at Lake Park. This is a WCI built community. It is gated and what a beautiful entrance. As soon as you come in, you instantly get a luxurious feel. Something about these homes. Um, I mean, you can see them behind me. They're absolutely stunning. And I love the barrel tile. I love the variety. Um, as far as the variety goes, WCI actually built 15 different floor plans in here, ranging from 1,800 square feet all the way up to over 5,000 square feet. So you will get a nice variety of layouts and looks. You know, I haven't seen an ugly house. 
going through here, every single house is absolutely stunning. But again, it is a very simple community. I love that. There's no CDD fees. There's no big clubhouse and all that, but the streets are great. The community is nice and quiet, and there's a lot around the area. The best thing about this neighborhood is the location. It's located south of Cheval, where we were earlier, but it's right north of Tampa, right next to all the shopping and restaurants and things like that, and it's located right off of Del Mabry. As soon as you come out of the entrance, there's also access to the Sun Coast. So you could jump right on the interstate, uh, just as we mentioned before with Cheval, but it's on the Dale Mabry side, which is to me is the best because you get the comfort of being out, you know, in Lutz. However, you're right, uh, literally a stone's throw away from the city. So this is absolutely a, a community to look in. 500,000 to upwards of a million, and you get some great looking homes and a very nice, quiet uh, community. So let's keep going. All right, we are in a community now that almost got me in trouble way back when. I was selling a house in this community, the community of Crenshaw Lakes. And uh, while we were doing the final walkthrough, you know, my wife joined with me and was like, sure, I'll come with you. She absolutely fell in love with the community. I almost got in trouble because she tried to make me buy two houses in here, two different houses, two different times. But I absolutely love it in here. It is a really nice feel. It's something very special about it. Um, what I love about it is that they're 1970s, 1980s homes. So you don't have that cookie cutter feel. Everything is custom built from you know decades ago. Very strong built homes. And I love that it's quiet, it's peaceful, and you can't reach out and touch your neighbor, even though they have a really good community feel here. But I mean, they are absolutely beautiful homes here ranging typically from about a third and a half acre all the way up to over one acre. I don't know if you can see some of these homes behind me. Sometimes it's hard because they're so far set back that uh, they're pretty private. Let's see if we can get a view here. All right, not sure if you can see that there, but man, what a beautiful house back there, uh, set back there. Now this is a community that has uh, the that's still in the in the great school zone, so it's not like you're outside of the school zones. In fact, this is actually closer into Tampa. So yes, right outside of Tampa, we actually have these rural settings. And if you've noticed in a lot of these communities, we get a lot of wooded areas. You know, we it's not just city living. That you can spread out here and find yourself in a really nice home. I mean, look at this entrance right here. And there's all kind of homes in here. There's you know these are all lakefront by the way. I'm sorry I didn't mention that. Crenshaw Lakes is set up between two different lakes, Crenshaw Lakes and, uh, and Saddleback Lake. In fact, we're right now on Burger Road and then Little Road's the other large road that goes right in between all this and Linda Vista. So, you know, this is another awesome community. I'm almost getting ran over here by a car, but this is another awesome community and just another great example that I wanted to show you of an area that uh, you can live right in Lutz great school zone different style community again um, homes in here will range anywhere from about four or five hundred on up to over a million just because of the land and the size of the homes and how beautiful and unique it is here this is hard to find in Tampa or Lutz or around the area so if you're interested in some land you don't you have the budget for this this is a phenomenal area great school zones living on the lake and you know you can spread out a little bit all right let's keep going so we've seen a nice variety of different style communities in Lutz but what about the things to do well there are a ton of things to do here but some of my favorites like the park that we're standing in right now and we're gonna talk about that in one second um, there's a lot of parks there's a lot of uh, areas uh, eateries and things like that shopping is everywhere when I keep mentioning Dale uh, Dale Mabry Highway that's the main highway that goes north and south all the way through Tampa. So six lane highway, there's absolutely everything from Home Depot to Bed Bath & Beyond, restaurants, grocery stores, you name it, within 10 minutes of just about anywhere you're living in Lutz. Um, with that said, we're in a lake park which is right off of Del Mabry, within 10 minutes of Cheval, right across from the promenade at Lake Park. So definitely a big community park. They have everything from BMX racing they have a BMX track where your kids can come out and jump actual hills. Um, remote control car track, so you can get your little remote control car. As a kid, I used to come here 
uh, which makes it actually a very special park to me. 10 years old, my dad used to bring me here. We used to bike, hike the trails, even take the canoes out. You can see behind me, uh, right over there, you can grab some canoes and just take it out on the lake. Um, they have picnic shelters. So if you want to bring your family out here on the weekend, do some uh, picnicking, you can do that. Hopefully you don't see Yogi Bear. Uh, you have, you know, my daughters are two and six now, so I bring them out to the playground. And uh, it's just really nice out here. It's a really nice, uh, community park where you're in touch with the the surroundings the nature the preserve it's quiet i can hear the little birds chirping and whatnot um you know on the weekends they have these open massive fields where you'll actually see people come out here with these uh rockets and and remote control airplanes so that's something unique but because of the openness they can do that here the other thing is as a kid we did have horses uh have a little city and country life but we used to bring our horses here and ride some of the trails so they have hiking trails biking trails and equestrian trails so if you're into that you want to go take your horses out or you just want to you know go for rides they have that here as well now i do want to show you the biking uh track as well as the remote control car track i'm going to try to make my way over there right now i have to go around the back end because they did with heavy rains they have a dirt road got kind of washed out just for the this week so i'm going to take a little uh, detour so see you in a bit all right so i was able to get in the back end of lake park check out the bmx track as you can see it's a legit track it's definitely evolved since i was uh you know 10 years old coming out here with my little bike just jumping on but i would still you know tell you come out here with your kids because this place is awesome um i also grabbed a shot of the uh remote control car track as i mentioned you can see that right here on the screen i'll put that up there for a second and then the other thing I meant, or I saw over here when I came to this side is there's two other round pins. So if you are into that, uh, you know, horses and things like that, you want to burn off some steam, not just on the trails. You could run your horses in the round pins, as well as a massive, massive fields over here that a um, ton of green space. So throwing the Frisbee, the baseball, playing maybe a pickup game of football on the weekends. Great county park if you live in Lutz. So Lutz, Florida has amazing communities. We actually only showed you three. They have top end schools. They have entertainment, restaurants, bars, uh, things to do all within a short driving distance. And if this is your jam, see that number on the screen, give us a call, shoot us a text, you know, send us an email because we really want to help you out if this is a place you want to move. And if it's not your jam, you know, still give us a call because we can help show you around to some of the other areas. And if you want a full map tour of Lutz, Florida, stay tuned to our channel because we're about to post a full map tour of Lutz, Florida. Till the next video, catch y'all later.